This is what we've trained really hard for. On this episode of Unwrapping Macy's. In the next 45 minutes, it's just going to get crazy. The drama and struggle behind a holiday tradition. Really worked up right now. I just really need a break. What's going to happen to my Christmas? Everybody, are we ready? Christmas, for children who believe there's only one place to make a wish come true, Macy's Santa Land. Merry Christmas! Welcome to Santa Land! This is the man that over 100,000 kids come to visit, but this is the man in charge. You need to, as the Christmas spirit, get closer to your fellow man. It is Christmas time. Bob Rutan is the general of an army of elves hired to keep Santa Land running smoothly. Santa Land is a huge walkthrough attraction that a quarter million people come to each year. Santa Land is a New York tradition. Santa Land is a miracle on 34th Street come to life. Santa Land is magic. Be the first to see Santa, right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Bob's right-hand man is Scott. Do I believe that there's a Santa Claus? Absolutely, 100%. I know he's out there, and I know that I work for him, and I help him spread that magic. It's November, and for the next 30 days, it's Bob and Scott's mission to make sure that Macy's Santa Land is as magical as possible. Oh, the pressure is pressure? intense. It's absolutely intense. Again, you have that, that sacred trust that you have 300,000 people from all over the world coming in who expect this to be the ultimate Christmas experience that they will ever have. That's a lot of pressure. The first step towards making Christmas magic is hiring the right kind of elves. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, Santa Land is a home of Santa who is a living embodiment of the Christmas spirit. What is the Christmas spirit? Comes down to one simple word, love. Today, over 140 elf and wannabes have gathered to try out for Santa's team. How many people in this room believe in Santa? Raise your hands. <laughs> the tough thing is teaching them the magic and the love that it takes. That's why we look in our hiring process for people that love the holiday season. That's one of the questions I ask everybody. Why are you here for this job? Actually, my aunt kind of knows people, and um, she got me the interview. There was a part of me that said, no way, but it's a job to do to just make money and get through the month and have some Christmas money and stuff. 21-year-old Brandy isn't exactly elf material, and she grew up a long way from the North Pole. I come from a small town in Pennsylvania, the very slow-paced, backwoods, kind of redneck town. Drive around, you know, burn fires in the woods, and, you know, hang out in your car in the woods. I know that probably everybody in this room considers themselves to be very, very good with kids. Usually I'm not very good with children. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I don't want to say evil, but you know, I'm a little bit darker. Come on in, everybody. What's about to happen is the elf training. This is the most important part of it all. This is where Santa's house is. So this is where they take the customers in for the visit. There are people who will not make it through the training process. We always have at least one or two people that unfortunately, it's just not for them. Everybody gather in here as close as you can to me. This is sort of like going to a theme park. You're waiting in line for a ride. Santa is the ride that you're waiting in line for. Now, <laughs> I'm going to ask Candy Cane to start off as our photo elf. My elfin name is Candy Cane, and the reason I went with Candy Cane is my first name is Brandy, Candy. You know, easy to remember. You guys come to visit Santa right this way. People laugh at us when we talk about elf training, and the left them, you have elf training, you know, and they think it's so funny. The taking of the photo is very technical, and you'll see. But there's so much that we need to convey, and a lot of it is just drumming into their heads over and over again, the magic of the Macy's Santa visit. I'm gonna pretend to be Santa. I could never be Santa, but I'm gonna sit here and pretend to be Santa. Have a seat with Santa. Why don't you sit right here in Santa's lap? It's okay, there we go, see? If you look right here for me, thank you very much. Yada yada. Actually, Candy Can, I do need to speak to you for a moment, all right? 
It is against company policy to have piercings, and I do need you to take them out. Do That's you mind? No problem. No, I can take them out. Okay, yes. excellent. Okay, let's get the rest that. of the group. Or of course, every season are going to come across one or two people that just maybe don't really fit the elf mold. I have about four or five tattoos and thirteen piercings. You don't want little kids to see that and ask for it for Christmas. That would be horrible. <laughs> It's the final day of ELF training. Time for the practicals. The practicals were created as a tool where the elves could learn about different scenarios, different customers that are going to come in during the season. You are a lesbian couple, and this is your daughter. You want to take a really sexy photo with Santa. OK. Today is so important to us because this is the last time we have a training mode where there's not real people coming through. Hi, how many in your party? Two. Two? Practicals was really silly. It was just awkward to have them come through and to treat them like customers when you really know in the back of your mind that they're not. You have to wait till well, how long I have to wait? I was promised I'd be able to get in right away. Oh, I'm really sorry. I don't, who promised you you'd be able to see him right the away? The elf over there. They're so busy. Elves, if you have customers that are coming in that are difficult to deal with, you cannot get into a confrontation with these people. There are almost 200 people that work in Santa Land. I really can't control what they're saying and doing every moment that they're out there. The pointer, you should know that you're the one that relays the information to the manager. Oh, we take okay. it directly to the... You're the one who's closest to the uh, manager being here. I didn't realize how much of a complicated process it is, really, to be an elf. We made the assumption that we tell a Santa elf, a Santa elf tells a house elf, and I'm a house elf. No, 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 no. I know it's a lot of information to take in, but it's really not rocket science -y. It's It's really very simple stuff, basic, you know, meeting and greeting people. And uh, a lot of them were just having a hard time grasping the concepts of this. After the training, I guess, really is when they're, you know, going to decide whether they want to keep people or not. I am a little concerned with the, the elf crew. So what do you think about the, the crew so far? You've been very quiet. Uh, from what you've seen. What worries me, they seem to be getting the whole spirit end of things. I'm not 100% sure I'm seeing that they're doing the whole work end of things. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have a little bit of a top five. Sure. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we better get, well, I better get there. Right All place. right, are we ready, everybody? Yeah. Santa Land is set to open in just one week. And tonight, Bob and Scott must decide which of the new elves are good enough to make the team. The worst thing that you ever want to have, and, and Scott can testify this, is a parent coming up and expressing displeasure over their visit. That to me is that to me is the ultimate pressure, is is not being good enough for our customers, because these are the, the, these are people's memories and Christmas. You know, children that are coming in, this is their first visit to Santa. Maybe it's their third visit to Santa, but you could scar a child for life. Coming up. There's a lot of dropped communications all over the place. What have I got myself into? Macy's, the day after Thanksgiving is known as Black Friday. Shop to the draw. I'm buying for my brother, I'm buying for my son, I'm buying for my cousin. It's the busiest shopping day of the year, and D-Day for Bob and Scott. Good, how are you doing? How you feeling? This is the big moment. This is what we've trained really hard for. This is the moment where we're going to open the doors and let the customers come in. Today is the official opening of Santa Land. When a parent brings their child in, they want the same magic that they remember from their childhood to be there for them. We'll take all of these ropes off and cut it down the line and just have them come in straight here. So As Scott makes some way. last minute adjustments, his newest elf is arriving for work. Hi, good morning. Brandy has made the cut. Lovely. My friends would not believe that I'm going to be an elf at Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> this is so out of my realm to be doing something like this. It's a little ridiculous, but coming into it, I, I knew I was gonna have to wear a ridiculous outfit. I'm feeling sexy, how about you? I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling uh, pretty 
All elves are not created equal. Some come in very prepared for the job, and some people you really have to work with them. Thank you. For the next 30 days, Brandy and the other elves will have to smile, wave, and shout Merry Christmas eight hours a day, five days a week. What is that wire hanging down there? That's the kind of things you should be looking out for as well, so you can report that to a manager. I was really concerned about the energy level of the elves and were they understanding the positions. The biggest fear that I have coming into Macy's and being an elf, I have to be not screwing up. Like, I don't want to, you know, screw up and mess up some child's dreams of Christmas for the rest of their life, you know. One, two, three, welcome to Santa Land! Do you all have your tickets? As the first customers pass through the gates, Bob and Scott monitor the situation closely. Mr. Time, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? I am very, very good. When you're dealing with a Christmas tradition, you have to be vigilant. You want to make improvements, you want to change things around, but you don't want to create any people coming in and going, oh, what'd they do? You know, you also, you want in to- In 97, the, the store, before Scott and I were here, uh, <laughs> the store made a decision to ultra-modernize Santa Land. It was a complete disaster. So the next year, back came the teddy bears, back came the snow, back came the Christmas trees. Who's this fellow here? <laughs> Keeping Santa Land running smoothly isn't easy, but Bob and Scott have years of experience from the ground up. I was an elf in Santa Land. Uh, I worked uh, 96, 97 uh, as a seasonal, and then the, the next year, 98, I got promoted to a manager. 15 years ago, 1991, was my first year. I was an elf. My name was Spruce Tree. I loved the magic, loved seeing the kids' faces when they were dealing with Santa. I want you to know that Santa loves you very much. Merry Christmas! It's so hot. Aren't you dying? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be good now. Be good now. Bye-bye. It's the end of day one. And while Santa is still cheery, <laughs> Brandy is beat. I'm just extremely tired. My feet are hurt. My elfin back hurts. So. Good job. There's a lot, you know, it's only your first day. There's a lot that needs to be improved upon. People not walking backwards. I got almost no sense of urgency whatsoever out of any Santa elves. Because it is Macy's Santa Land, because it is the one true Santa, we need to make sure that everything is operating like clockwork, precision clockwork. The first half of the season has gone well, but two weeks and thousands of Santa visits later, Bob and Scott are getting tired. It's long days, it's a lot of work, and it's no sleep. And Santa Land's smooth veneer is beginning to crack. What's with the elf clump here? <laughs> Guys, too many else in one place. We need you to spread out and uh, hit the whole line. Meanwhile, Macy's most tattooed elf is an hour late for work. I'm not a good elf. I'm 45 minutes late. I'm coming in, Miss. Oh, Check in. Do you want to just go out into the village and find. Brandy King. Good morning. Hurry up, Santa needs you out there. Yeah. The most difficult part of being an elf would just be the mental exhaustion. Good morning, Anna. Alexis. Being happy, being awake, being alive, being upbeat, it's just exhausting. <laughs> Hi, how many? Follow me right this way. Santa's waiting to see you. All she's doing is standing. Standing's not good. Kids are smart. They'll pick up on it. An elf can play, an elf, you know, they're slacking off to the side. That's not elf, and that's what, well, if this isn't a real elf, maybe this isn't the real Santa, and maybe my list isn't going to get to the real guy, and oh, what's going to happen to my Christmas? We're going to get everybody in to see Santa today! We have kids pushing and shoving, and everybody's barking orders, and elves getting a little aggravated with each other, and by the end of the day, it's kind of like, oh, Merry Christmas, you, you don't really want to, you know, say it anymore, but you have to. Merry Christmas! As the elves grow tired, the lines get longer, and keeping the magic alive gets harder and harder. I'm out in front right now. It's been about 10 minutes since the line has actually moved. You stay right here. Why don't you come down to the lower ramp here? And then this young lady, we're going to ask her to keep roaming the line for us. There's a lot of drop communications all over the places here. There wasn't miscommunication. It's just we had time to set everything up. You just never checked with me. Well, I did, you're right. I didn't check with you. 
Communication is key to anything that you're doing, but in Santa Land, it's so important. We're not asking questions that we always used to automatically ask. Right. Yeah, so... Unfortunately, it doesn't always happen. There's always things that are um, misunderstood, misconveyed, whatever the case may be. How many people have we seen in an hour? Uh, it's not as good as I'd like it. We're only doing seven. The lines are too long. In the next 45 minutes, it's just going to get crazy. And if just one child falls through the cracks, Bob and Scott's mission will fail. There are a few moments where I tell myself, what have I got myself into? Are you ready to see Santa? If you're having a bad day, you've got to leave that at home because you can ruin someone's Christmas visit. If that happens because of something we've done, and we've taken that from that child, it's something that is very hard to live with. I'm starving. I would like to get something to eat, go smoke a cigarette. I'm just really worked <laughs> up right now. I just really need a break. Coming up. Good morning. Who's retrieving children? They may not have any other Christmas than this one. costume real quick, change, go to Trudy, get my position for the day. Three weeks and thousands of smiles later, Brandy is gearing up for her last week at Santa Land. I see tons of children outside. And today is critical. Operation Happy Children is one of my favorite days of, of the Christmas season. Macy's brings underprivileged children into Macy's to visit with Santa and to get something that they're probably not going to get on their own. They may not have any other Christmas than this one. It's a last chance for Brandy and the other elves to dig deep and rediscover the magic of Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's so good to be here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, good, Santa. Yeah, Glad to see you here. Day because... It's the most special day that we have. Oh. Operation Happy Children can separate the really good elves from the elves that aren't quite as energetic. Because if they can't get enthused about these children, then how can they get enthused about any of the other customers? Everybody, are we ready? Yeah! Who's retrieving children? Santa Elf, she is. Go ahead, sit down. We've been waiting for them. Everybody get really close, right? I'm going to slide you in, OK? You can look around and make sure that's what you want, OK? Doing this kind of stuff is very overwhelming. Even if it's you're, you know, tired and dragging halfway through the day, like I said, you just got to put it aside and make it extra, extra special. That's for you. What do you say to Santa? Thank you. You're welcome. They get to hang out with them for a while, get some presents. You want to you wanna look for a keyboard, too? It kind of makes everything better. You have what you like? Truck, pretty cool. Brandy did an excellent job today, but I do see her softening up a little bit. She's having a really good time, and she was uh, very touched by the whole thing. It was a good day. I enjoyed it. I think I should be able to handle it for the rest of the year, so. After nearly a month of struggle, Bob and Scott have made it to Christmas Eve. Step on up, every step you take is one step closer to Santa. Just a few hours, Santa's gonna be taking off for his trip around the world to deliver his presents. Everyone will get to see Santa, we just gotta do it quickly. It's Brandy's last day as an elf, and she's working it like a pro. Hi! Merry Christmas! She's the main one. Oh, she's adorable! Follow me, hurry up, I know the quickest way. Right this way. I'm a little less evil <laughs> from, from being an elf. Everybody's amazed how much of a Christmas spirit I have this year. Even when I leave and I see kids on the street, I'm like, hi, Merry Christmas. And people probably think I'm a complete weirdo, but you just get used to doing it. And you see little kids smile, and it makes you want to do it all the time. Fill in every possible space. Karen, Karen, how's the line going? We're moving. We're moving how far back are we? We are back in the back hallway. By Q filled or just a little yes, bit? Less it than is. Less than less. As the end of the day approaches, Bob and Scott have one last decision to make. We may have to cut the line off at 5.30. We may have to turn people away. I don't want to turn people away. The store wants us to, you know, do a soft close. But if we keep the line going, at 6 o'clock, there's a line that's down the hallway. 
That's gonna take us like 45 minutes to an hour to get rid of. I think we have a choice here, Scott. I really don't. Keep the line open. It's only uh, 527 anyway. Last chance to see Santa, folks. We got five minutes before we're shutting the line down. How about me, okay? Santa's getting ready to head around the world and drop off all those toys at your house. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. He's excited to see you. Let's go dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. It was another amazing season. Lots of energy, lots of excitement, lots of good new elves. There are a couple of you who we really felt went above and beyond the call of duty. And we want to honor our first award, which is the best new crowd control elf. Uh, she uh, was amazing out front and also did a great job at the pointer. Where is Brandy? Come on up here, Brandy. Our best new crowd control elf. Congratulations. I absolutely love being an elf. I hope I get to be an elf again, but the first thing that I'm gonna do after I hang up my elf costume is get my lip repierced. Have a good holiday. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. No, thank you. No, thank you. That was so much fun. You all right? Yeah. Brandy's last day just blew me away. I mean, she was openly weeping and like, didn't want to leave. Stay in touch with everybody. I will. Don't and I hope worry. Santa brings you new piercings. <laughs> Thank you. I hope he does too. <laughs> oh. Bye. I would never expected this. Nobody ever expected, you know, me to even like this job, let alone be sad to be leaving. Nobody goes through a season in Santa Land without being touched and in some way changed. It's always weird, you know. There's this big high, this big emotional moment, and and and. Then we close up our registers and turn the lights off, and uh, we're done for a year. Make sure they're closed for the season. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Great job. Same to you. Great job. Next year, about November, we'll do this again? Yeah. OK. Why not? All right. Sounds like a good plan. Mm.